morning everybody I'm uh, just off out this morning um, I've just met Daz he's one of the guys from the Suffolk crew he won a prize at uh, the raffle the weekend and uh, I've just brought that to him and uh, he's now heading home and I'm just off to hide Spicy's nuts. So that's what I'm up to this morning. Um, yeah, there's a couple of things I was going to talk about, but um, the main one I was just going to do a uh, ride and review of my new crash helmet. Uh, I hope I'm hoping you can hear this okay. Uh, I've just put put the camera on there and um, might get all up. I've not tried it. It's the first time of actually trying it, and uh, so I'm hoping the angle's right. If it's not, I'll have to take the mount off and move it. But um, my main concern when I bought the crash helmet, what I was mainly looking for, was one for low wind noise because the other ones I had were bloody noisy and this one that I've got on now, my new one is I see HJC FGST um, which means it's the FG stands for fiberglass so it's not the um, bottom of the range one but it's not the premium range just sort of mid-range um, and they use a fiberglass and carbon mixture which makes it very very strong it's very very well padded lovely and comfortable that's all um, the visor has got a pin lock on it and it comes with the um, inner screen for the pin the pin lock visor you know is included in the box and this one has also got the drop down sunscreen which is what I wanted as well the ventilation on it is very very good I've got the vents open now and uh, yeah it's brilliant um, the main visor as well it's got like a locking system on it so you can actually lock it shut but that's ever so easy to open you know it's all done at the middle of the front of the visor at the middle and you can do it with your glove um, so yeah that's that's pretty good but as far as wind noise there's a little bit but then having said that it's a hell of a lot quieter than I was anticipating it being but it's like anything you stick anything you know on your head basically and uh, you're moving along you're gonna hear it the only way you can stop that is to have it pointed at the front so that it cuts through the air but these HJCs apparently are designed in a wind tunnel you know they're all wind tunnel tested and it, the stability on the head is brilliant you get up to uh, well I'm only doing 55 now but you get up to a higher speed and you don't get the the head rocking that you do with a lot of other helmets so they've, they've got it right I think they've got it right but as I say, this is the, the other crash helmets I had. They were just cheapies. As I mean, I've only been riding... Well, I'm only on the road since... Uh, you know, these big bikes since 2016. When I passed my test. So basically three, just over three years. And um, so this is the first... Sort of premium brand helmet I've had, if you like. And... Yeah, 
but at the moment I mean I've only come from home and I'm nearly into Swatham now so I've done I don't know about 25 mile coming up 30 mile I suppose with it but it's it's good I'm really chuffed with it um, the vision was brilliant you know there's no more than you would expect but um, no that it's good quality good um, good clear vision a good um, side vision as well the shape of it but yeah going back to the actual as I said the main reason for doing it was the wind noise letting people know about the wind noise um, yes you've got a little bit but it's not to the effect that you've got to wear earplugs I mean I've not got any in I used to with the other crash helmets but I thought I'd not put any in today and just try it new crash helmet and all and it's got like a, a scoop on the back that funnels the the air down and away um, and I can hear that that's all I can hear where the other ones that I've got you could hear the um, the visor with this one can't hear it it's just a little bit of wind actually on the back of the crash helmet where the air is actually flowing over it so all in all I'm chuffed a bit with her and when I was looking for a new crash helmet I looked at all of them and I kept coming back to the HJC and so I went to that's a local shop to Newmarket um, one to one motorbike training is where I got it from they've got the range in there and I went in there and had a word with uh, Rachel and Ian and I come out with this one the pattern I wanted was like stripes with I'll put photos of this one actually in the video for you so you can see what I've got but um, the pattern I wanted has got like stripes on it and that was in a matte finish where this one is in the um, shiny gloss so and the reason I went for this one as opposed to the matte finish one is easier to clean you get the dead bugs and whatnot on the crash helmet and if that's a matte finish they're a bugger to get off they get ground in whereas the um, these gloss finish ones you can just use uh, car cleaners on them and that will clean them all off so anyway that's just my view of the crash helmet I mean everybody is different everybody has got their own favorite helmets and um, I went for the one that I thought was the best for me also one bit I will just say is the safety rating on this is five star and it's ride magazine recommended not that that alters the price I think that was I think I paid about 220 pound for it so it wasn't an expensive helmet but having said that it wasn't one of the cheapies so with that if you're interested in a new helmet certainly worth looking at and uh, good luck with your hunt for a new crash helmet so anyway as I said I'm just off to hide spicy's nuts and uh, we'll talk to you all in the next one bye for now